For all of your sports in Lorraine, keep your TV tuned to TV20, Lorraine City Schools Television. Hello and welcome to Channel 20 Broadcast. We're coming to you from General Johnny Wilson Middle School where we have the Battle of Lorraine between the two middle schools, Longfellow and General Johnny Wilson. What you just saw was Maurice Cleveland from Longfellow at 134 pounds receive a victory by forfeit. Maurice has a 4-2 and two record and is in 7th grade. And his favorite subject is science. So our first victor of the Battle of Cleveland is Maurice or the Battle of Lorraine, rather, is Maurice Cleveland. Coming up next will be the 142-pound match. And we have Chris Gonzalez from Longfellow, and he's going to be wrestling Maurice Hernandez from General Johnny Wilson. So as these two can be prepared to come to the mat, Getting the scores table and everything figured out. Well, while we have a break in action, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Eulen Ralston, former wrestler for Lorraine Southview, and with me is Joe Bach, top cameraman for Lorraine City Schools. <laughs> so. Uh, you're too kind. <laughs> I figured to put a headset on so you'd have somebody to talk to. Here. There it is. <laughs> I enjoy the conversation. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad you're able to help us out here today and uh, cover some uh, middle school wrestling. Yes. Well, it's a good thing they have different color sig signals. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've well, I believe that the or or uh, I mean uh, the signals are the same the, color. It, right. That's kind of wow. <laughs> So we have in the green, but the green inklet from General Johnny Wilson, Maurice Hernandez, and he's on top with a, a quick two-point takedown. And therefore in the red, we have Chris Gonzalez of Longfellow. Middle school wrestling, the, you still have the uh, three periods and the length of the periods is uh, 90 Nine. seconds, a minute and a half. Correct. That was a nice stack we saw there by Maurice Fernandez, able to get the first period fall. 28 seconds in, very impressive. Very impressive, and now he ties the overall team score up at six points apiece, able to uh, catch Johnny Wilson up. The scoring for, for uh, match points are the same as the high school level, six points for a pin, five points for a technical fall, four points for a major, and three points for a Regular decision. Yeah, and forfeits are real critical uh, at this level, uh, just like any other level. It's uh, you, you forfeit, it's six points. It's just like a pin. Correct. So if you if you have a lot of forfeits there, you've got a lot of ground to make up. Oh, yeah. And we actually have a double forfeit at 150, so neither team will be receiving points. And now in front of you, we have Sean Petty of Longfellow Wrestling against William Torres in the 160 pound weight class. Sean Petty with a 14 and one record in the eighth grade. His favorite subject is math from Longfellow. He's in the red anklet. And William Torres of General Johnny Wilson. His favorite food is pizza, has a one and eight record. And his favorite movie is Red 2. This came out recently. Petty with a nice bow. Single with a bow. Did a nice job uh, grabbing the leg and then spinning him around so he yeah. wouldn't go out of bounds so he can pick up some points here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to get some back points. Yeah. Seen some nice technical wrestling by uh, Petty here through a half. Got his hips up, put, applying pressure. Circle in the head. And a first period fall. Very impressive wrestling by Sean Petty. And nice form. Very nice form. And both wrestlers fought very hard. That'll be another six points for Longfellow Middle School. Making the team score 12 to 6 in favor of Longfellow.
Coming up at the 172 pound weight class from Longfellow, we have Isaiah McDowell. And from Johnny Wilson, we have Cameron Seymour. Again, uh, Johnny Wilson will have the you know Johnny Wilson will have the green anklet, while Longfellow will have the red. Some nice stances out there. He's gonna level low and keeping his head up. See some similar styles here. Both wrestlers like to work from the tie up. Circling. There's. One point there is awarded to the Longfellow long uh, wrestler, Isaiah McDowell. What happened was in the scramble, Cam Cameron Seymour actually. Uh, Caught him in the headlock, but he did not have an arm in between. So it was just a regular headlock with no arm, and that is a technical violation. It rewards the other wrestler one point. Big move by Isaiah McDowell, and able to score five back, five points, five point move, two takedown, three backs. And that'll take us to the end of the first period with a score in favor of Isaiah McDowell of Longfellow, 6-0. to zero. Choice goes to McDowell, and he chooses the neutral position. And we're ready to start the second period. And on a nice double leg, Seymour able to defend nicely, able to use his hips to get his hips back and apply pressure. Move to a front headlock. It looks like Seymour attempted to, attempted to throw there. McDowell able to defend it nicely and earn himself a takedown. See him digging in that half, a nice power half attempt. You see some uh, very technical wrestling so far. Impressive at the middle school level. Yeah, very. His coaches are doing a nice job. 15 seconds left in the second. 10 nothing. Ooh. Unable to score points at the end of the period, but he was close. If he had about three more seconds. Choice goes to Cameron Seymour of Johnny Wilson and chooses the top position. This is a situation we haven't seen in the match so far. So 
See if it works to his advantage. Nice return. Able to stop his first move. And he able with a dump to put McDowell on his back. Close to the out of bounds. He's dragging him back in, very nice. Mm -hmm. And the wrestlers go out of bounds. Nice wrestling there. McDowell able to not fight, even though he was in, in some trouble there. No back points awarded though in that scramble there. Nice stand up turn, was able to face the wrestler. McDowell made quick, nice quick move off the whistle. Scores escape and then now he is on top of what appears to be another five point move. Putting nice pressure on, on the you know, the Longfellow wrestlers put a nice pressure on the Johnny Wilson wrestler. Arching his hips, pressure on his chest. But he, oh, he. So we saw there was Seymour able to fight off his back, but five more points were awarded to McDowell, and he's able to win by a technical fall. Score of 16 to zero. That's five team points. That was a nice competitive match we just saw that puts Longfellow up. And the team scores 17 to 6 over Johnny Wilson. The next weight class up um, will be the 245 pound weight class. There's a double forfeit at 205, so we're going to go right on through to 245 pounds. And we have from Longfellow, Adriano Ayala, and from General Johnny Wilson, Jason Lozada. Again, Johnny Wilson would be in the the green anklet, so that would be Jason Lozada and. Adriano Ayala will be in the red anklet from Longfellow. Ayala has an eight and eight record. He's in the eighth grade and his favorite subject is science. And Lozada has a five and five record. His favorite food is rice. And his favorite movie is 12 rounds. And we see a quick headlock by Lozada. Archer's back, nice. Ayala still fighting though. And there's a fall, big move. And that's something we see often in the heavier weights. Upper weights. Yeah, that's the big moves. For five point moves and for for falls. So big pin there by Jason Lozada for his team. At six points to their overall score. And uh allows them to gain some ground in the team scores. Now we have Longfellow ahead of Johnny Wilson, 17 to 12. And again, with these schools being so close in proximity, this is not likely the first time they've seen each other. They probably wrestled a couple times throughout the year, so we noticed that this is a friendly duel. Yeah, a lot of them know each other. A lot of them know each other, especially we noticed in the warm-ups, you know, it was a mm -hmm. nice competitive atmosphere. Everybody wants to win, but Everybody's also friends, so it's nice, and it's good they it's good that they uh, know that now because all these kids are going to be teammates next year. So yep, now we drop down to the featherweights. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a big to difference. Totally different techniques here. Correct. We have eighty pound, eighty pound wrestlers here, and uh, from Longfellow we have Randall Hamilton, and from Johnny Wilson we have Bless Crooks. 
Hamilton from Longfellow will be in the red, and Crooks from Johnny Wilson will be in the green. Hamilton is a 6-8 record, and he's a 7th grader, and his favorite subject is science. And Crooks has a 4-4 four four record. His favorite movie is The Purge, and his favorite food is pizza. And we see Crooks in on an early takedown. There's a nice job of returning Hamilton to the ground. Working the half, and nice job by Hamilton. Notice he reached back and peeled the hand off. Needs to do it again as the half Nelson's in there again. Apologize, that's, that's Hamilton in the red on top. And Crooks of Johnny Wilson in the green on the bottom. And that brings us to the end of the first period. Pretty spirited first period. Yeah. A lot, lot of action. And the score is 2-0. to zero. Long fellow up. Crooks of Johnny Wilson's choice to start the second period off. He chooses the down position. Nice, nice stand up and return. Hamilton is relentless with those half Nelsons. Always seems to manage a way to get in there and he's, dri he's driving, driving towards the head really nice and gets a little too high. Crook's able to capitalize, caught a leg and able to get an escape point. Nice work, nice work by Crooks, able to use uh, Hamilton's momentum against him. And Crooks in on a takedown attempt. He's trying to try to fireman's carry and off the scramble was successful. It's a two point takedown and Hamilton with immediate one point escape. So that brings our score now to three to three with about 40 seconds left in the second period. Hamilton driving in um, with a takedown attempt and is able to score a two point takedown and sneak a half in. Crooks is battling, fighting to get off of his back. He has about 15 seconds left in the period. About five more seconds left. There we go. Nice fight we've seen by, by Crooks there not to give up. But Hamilton with the five point move brings our score to eight to three. We get, as we get into the third and final period, we have a minute, 30 seconds left. Hamilton chooses the neutral position. Crooks uh, attempted a, a trip. Got himself a little too extended, and Hamilton able to capitalize on the takedown. Nice bar arm there. He's walking it out. Trying to use a continue circle toward the head and step over. And there, there it is. Settle his hips. And nice transition to a reverse Nelson. A little too high and Crooks able to come out with a reversal after that scramble. Big exchange of points there. 
Score is 13 to five, or rather 14 to five with that escape in favor of Hamilton. With about five seconds left in the third period. And that was a, that brings us to the end of the match at 80 pounds. Randall Hamilton wins by merely a major decision. It's the first match we had of the night that went to the full 30 seconds and there was a lot of action there. They're able to extend her with that five points. They're able to extend their lead in overall team points. Great, that should bring our team scores to 22 to 12, I believe. Next up, we're reached the 86 pound weight class. From Longfellow in the red inklet, we have Steve Ferguson. And from Johnny Wilson in the green, we have Steven Reese. So, two Steves. Similar technique as in the match before us, before this one. Steve with a nice, Ferguson with a nice sprawl, able to go around. We turn Reese to the mat. Now has a bar arm hooked. It's like a, a tilt attempt by sending to a bar arm and nice chain wrestling there. Both wrestlers getting a lot of uh, coaching and encouragement from uh, their coaches there on the corners. So with about 20 seconds left in the first period, Ferguson of Longfellow is up two to zero. Nice job of Ferguson not allowing this uh, escape late in the late, late in the first period, so he's able to hold his opponent scoreless. Reese very close to an escape. For Ferguson of Longfellow's choice starts second period, and he chooses the neutral position. Shot attempt by Reese, a little extended, but he's able to got some long arms there, able to tie up the leg and goes out of bounds. See the length of Reese there really worked to his advantage, able to reach out and suck the leg in. But a nice double leg attempt by Ferguson. It's a very, very nice shot. Able to score a two point takedown, able to elevate his opponent. Now he's working for some near falls. Switches to a half. Ferguson attempting a, a cradle. Reese able to defend well. About 20 seconds left in the second period. Scores four to zero in favor of Ferguson of Longfellow.
Ferguson has a record of eight and three on the year. He's in the seventh grade. And his favorite subject is gym. And Stephen Reese, favorite food is pizza, has a record of six and two. And his favorite movie is drive through Pizza sounds good about right now. Pizza does sound pretty pretty tasty. I see pizza quite quite a bit on this uh, <laughs> favorites list. So as we start the third period, Reese of General Johnny Wilson finds himself down four to zero, and he chooses the down position. Ferguson doing a nice job of tying up the arms of Reese. <laughs> Reese has about a minute left. Reese unable to get past the uh, breakdown attempts of Ferguson. As the wrestlers go out of bounds, there is 26 seconds left in this third and final period. About 16 seconds left. Score still 4-0. to zero. See if Reese has any moves that he thinks he can uh, use. Five-point moves. Big moves that can get him back into winning position. Looks like he attempted to roll through. Unsuccessful. And nice match. Two very... Uh, Skilled wrestlers here, and the final score is four to zero in favor of Ferguson of Longfellow. Next up, we is we reach the ninety two pound weight class. From Longfellow, we have Gay Mendez. And from General Johnny Wilson, we have Brando and Cherokee. In Cherokee. <laughs> and familiar name around the wrestling community for sure. And Cherokee on a nice single to a takedown. Mendez from Longfellow has a 4 0 record. And he is in the eighth grade, and his favorite subject is science. And in Cherokee from Johnny Wilson, he has a record of 10 and 2. His favorite movie is Good Burger, and his favorite food is Grandma Jew Burritos. And Cherokee working a three-quarter stack there. Almost had it successfully. Throwing the boots in, we see. Doing a nice job of extending his opponent.
unable to score any near falls as we end the first and final the first period. Yeah, some nice offense there and some equally good defense. Some nice right. technique and uh, some good wrestling. Oh yeah, this is a this is gonna be a good match here. This is start the second period off and Cherokee chooses the bottom position. Mendez doing a nice job of tying off the arms of Nchergi. Now caught his arm, unable. But Nchergi able to catch the leg on a switch. Keeps scooting his hips. And able to score the two-point reversal. About 30 seconds left in the second period. Score is four to zero in favor of Ncherigi of Johnny Wilson. Again, he's attempting that three quarter stack. Mendez able to defend nicely and able to get to his feet actually. And then on a single attempt of his own. Nice hips and defense by Ncherigi there. Not allowing the not allowing men to score a takedown, but however, the ref does award him one escape point. So at the start of the third period, the score is four to one. In favor of a Cherokee of Johnny Wilson. Cherokee in the green anklet. Mendez in the red anklet. It's a nice snap down. For a two point. Takedown for a Cherokee. Bringing the score to six to one with about a minute left in the third. Mendez, even though he's not able, hasn't been able to advance his position, is doing a nice job of countering. And Cherokee's, and Cherokee's attempts for near falls. Ref stopping the action to make sure wrestlers are okay. It was a pretty nice, pretty big slam. Return to the mat. Cherry able to catch Mendez in the cradle. Has his hands locked up. Mendez able to defend. We have about five seconds left in the third period. And that'll bring this match to an end. And in Cherry will receive the win by a score of six to one. And that win for Johnny Wilson should make the score 24 to 15 in the team race. What weight level we have up next there? We have at 98 pounds. So we're working our way through. We're still in the little guys here at 98 pounds from 
Johnny Wilson, we have DJ Kelly. And from Longfellow, we have Daniel Finley. Finley. Yep, Finley, another name that's very common amongst learning wrestling. And he's in on a nice takedown early to a cradle. Or rather, that is Kelly, who is in on a nice takedown to a cradle. So Kelly of Johnny Wilson up five to zero over Finley of Longfellow. Kelly has a 10 and two record. His favorite food is pork and his favorite movie is The Goonies. Finley of Longfellow has a 12 and three record. He's in the seventh grade and his favorite subject is gym. Finley able to score a reversal there, making the score five to two in favor of Kelly of Long of Johnny Wilson. And there's about ten seconds left in the first period. A lot of action in that first round. Score is five to two in favor of Kelly of Johnny Wilson. To start the second period off, Finley chooses the down position. Yeah, what's the strategy with uh, choosing the down position? Well, typically that's the, the hardest position usually in wrestling is the top position. So you put your uh, opponent at a disadvantage but some wrestlers are better off in the top position than others. Just like everything else, everybody's different. Styles are different. Um, Finley felt he could score from the bottom position, felt Kelly would have a hard time holding him, and the strategy proved to work because he was able to score a two-point reversal. And Kelly right back out with a one-point escape of his own. So that scoring brings the score to six to four in favor of Kelly. As Finley's in on a takedown attempt of his own, which would tie the matchup at six. No points awarded yet, so the score is still six to four. Nice chain wrestling and scrambling we've seen by these wrestlers not stopping, putting two or three moves together. Finley doing a nice job of driving, not giving up on the shot, switching to a double and able to score his takedown. Nice wrestling. With that takedown, there's bring us to the end of the second period, and it will tie the score up six to six. This is gonna be a pretty close match here. And as we talked about with the strategy of choosing the down position, now Kelly to start the third period, chooses the down position himself. Finley doing a nice job of breaking uh, Kelly down, but Kelly finally gets the hand control, slides his hips out, and gets, gets his escape. So that point puts Kelly up seven to six with about a minute left. I feel this one's gonna come down to the wire. Yeah, our closest match of the evening so far. 40 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Finley is in on his shot attempt, but Kelly doing a nice job of working a three-quarter Nelson in defense. Stretching Finley out. I can see him walk the head a little more. 
Finley not giving up on that leg though. He's holding on tight. We like to see Kelly able to use that three quarter Nelson step, hop over the hips and score a takedown. And able to put Finley out to his back to score some near falls here. And, oh. and a, a fall at the end of the third period. Wow. What a match. What a match. And what a shame for team points, though. It's a close match all the way down and give up that extra three. Correct. There's only three Correct. seconds left, too. Right. Nice match by the two young wrestlers, both. Yeah, very competitive, very mm -hmm. uh, evenly matched. Big, big pin. As you said, it was big team points there for Johnny Wilson, who were down in the match. And that six points definitely helped him to catch up. That should place the score at to 24 to 21. And then uh, from Longfellow, Marquise Wilson wins by forfeit. Marquise Wilson, a 15 and 0 record wow. in the eighth grade in his favorite subjects, Jim. Look for him up coming in the oh, yeah. next couple of years. And so uh, with that being said, two six point exchanges in. Johnny Wilson, to see where uh, forfeits and Numbers can hurt you in the team scores because they just had that big, big fall. Right. And it's essentially uh, evened out with the forfeit. So. I believe we're going to have a score of. Uh, 30 to 21. I believe they're. They're fixing the team scores as we speak at the head table. Yeah, they have it. They have it there. It's 24 all, but we know that's not right. At least I don't right. think it is. No, <laughs> no, they'll add them up and get us the correct score. Next up, we have the 110 pound weight class, and we have Anthony Santiago of Longfellow versus Darian Hill of Johnny Wilson. Hill, his favorite movie is The Watch. His favorite food is steak, and he has a three and five record. And Hill finds himself on top with an early two point takedown. Accidentally put in a full Nelson, which is a technical violation, so one point will be awarded to Santiago of Longfellow. Santiago has a 6-4 and four record. He is in the 8th grade, and his favorite subject is science. And Santiago with a two-point reversal. In the two-point reversal, along with that one-point technical fall, puts him in the lead at 3-2 to two over Darian Hill. Santiago has a nice bundle there, walked to the head, applying pressure to the Hill's chest. Settling back nice and able to get the fall. It was a nice pinning combination there by Santiago. Able to score six more points for Longfellow. Next up, we have the 116 pound weight class. From Longfellow, we have Malik Gaddy. And from Johnny Wilson, we have Lewis Board. Gaddy will be in the red. Anklet and board in the green. And Gaddy in on an early double. Put, puts himself at a 
two point lead. Has a half and grabbing a leg and walking towards the head. Able to get three near falls. Board able to fight hard. Hard to get control of. Again, three more near falls for Gaddy. With about 30 seconds left in the first period, a score of 8 to 0. As we approach the end of the first period, we have a score eight to zero in favor of Gaddy of Longfellow. Gaddy, who has a two and three record. He has a two and three record, is in the seventh grade, and his favorite subject is social studies. Wrestling board of Johnny Wilson, who has a one and eight record. Favorite movie is Are We There Yet? And his favorite food is pizza. Gaddy has a nice cradle. Board working to peel the hands and break the tie. He's able to do so successfully. But Gaddy able to score three more near falls. Now we have a score of 13 to 0 and two more points will give us a technical victory. And I do believe this will do it if board's able to oh and nice job by Gaddy able to get the pin before the technical fall. Extra team point. An extra team point, correct. What, 22 seconds left in the second period. See some good wrestling by Gaddy, oh, seventh grader, so. Some nice wrestling we saw there. Well, we have a break in the action. We'd like to announce to all you sports fans that high school basketball is back. With the excitement of Lorraine School's basketball, there is yeah. always a game to watch. So turn your channel to WLCS TV 20 and watch them all. Win, lose, or draw, our kids give their best. Lorraine School Employees Credit Union supports our schools. And their address is 459-4459, Oberlin Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio. And wrestling's back, too. We didn't, uh, for some reason, the, the wrestling one wasn't in the... Uh Audio bag. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the wrestling is back. And the Lorraine Titans have done a nice job so far with their young team. Yeah, very impressed. We see a lot of kids out. Uh, in previous years, I know uh, they some of the teams were kind of sparse, but uh, uh, good complement of kids out. Mm -hmm. Multiple weight, uh, multiple kids in weight classes in some of them. So it's very good. Nice turnout. Look forward to uh, a lot of these young men coming up in the ranks at the high school. Correct. And so the wrestlers you see in front of you right now are 122 pounds. We have Joshua Martin of Longfellow in the red anklet wrestling against Corey Thompson of Johnny Wilson in the green. And we see Martin there was able to win by a, by a pin. Martin. A 13 and 5 record in the eighth grade. His favorite subject is language arts. Nice job. 56 seconds into the first. Big pin. And uh, Thompson there. His favorite food was corn. And his favorite movie 
Conair. Kind of winding down here. Yes, we are. And this will bring us to our final match in the Battle of Lorraine between the two middle schools. The match would be the 128-pound weight class. And we have Khalil Brown of Longfellow versus Michael Vasquez of Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson will be in the the green anklet and Brown of Longfellow will be in the red. A lot of action, a lot of scrambling. No wrestler able to score there. Seen a lot of good wrestling tonight. We did. A lot of intense matches. A lot of nice technique too. Oh yeah, the coaches in the rain have been doing a fine job at both uh, at both schools. And as you mentioned earlier, you look at the size on each team and mentions are full. There's a lot of wrestlers here at the middle school level, which is very good. Because we know there's only one high school and the more numbers you have, the better team you have, the better practices. And Wrestling, the wrestling future is bright in the rain. I'm really looking forward to our uh, uh, varsity team coming back up to full strength. I know during the uh, nationwide holiday tournament we had uh, we had some injuries and uh, we had a lot of injuries. Yeah. So sectionals uh, uh, in, mm -hmm. in state tournament coming up. Correct. And talking to one of the coaches at Lorraine High, the uh, those injured wrestlers all should be cleared and good to go by tournament time and. You know, we hope them the best, and as we do to all of our uh, Lorraine athletes as the tournament comes around this spring or the end of winter. But at the end of the first period, there's 15 seconds left. And Brown of Longfellow able to add a one-point escape. And Vasquez of Johnny Wilson has a two-point, two-to-one lead at the end of the first period. Vasquez chooses the down position to start the second period. There's a lot of action going on here, a lot of scrambling, a lot of moves put together, and Brown able to catch Vasquez count. with a half. Got him a two count. The ref there awards him two near fall points, and that actually gives him the lead. Score a three to two. Wrestlers go out of bounds, so return to the center. Vesk was does a nice job of getting to his feet. Trying to get separation. He, unable to peel the hands. Up oh, there he is. He's able to break free from Brown's grasp and tie the score up at three. Now Vasquez in on a takedown attempt of his own. Goes from a single to a double nicely. Secures the legs. Walks his way up to the head. Nice wrestling there. That two points gives Vasquez a two-point lead. Score five to three with about eight seconds to go in the second period. Yeah. 
seems to be a question about the score. Looks like the ref from the scorer's table had it right. I don't see no changes being made. So the score with about eight seconds left in the second period is five to three in favor of Vasquez of Johnny Wilson. And right, wow. at the, right at the end of the buzzer. Short time points. Brown able to not tie the score up with a reversal, a headlock, able to catch Vasquez off guard. Scores five to five as goes to the third period. A nice match we're gonna have. Very to, to end to, to end the battle of the ring. How fitting. <laughs> and Brown able to score two points early in the third period. Giving him a seven to five lead over Vasquez. Vasquez, whose favorite favorite food is rice, and favorite movie is This Is the End. And Brown as a uh, is an eighth grader. Has a zero and zero record, so I wonder if this, this must be his first match of the season. And his favorite subject wow. is math, and Brown in his first match of the season able to win by, by a pin in the third period. That was quick. That was very quick. What a match. So another fall for Longfellow, and that would bring the final team score. Longfellow able to win the Battle of Lorraine with a score of 54 to 24. But... We've seen a lot of hard-fought wrestling, a lot of good matches, a lot of good technique, especially at the younger level. And we also noticed that these kids, even though they only have a minute and a half period, they're in good shape. None of them seem to gas out or anything. So you see these kids are working hard. Great, they're, free, they're great learning. future for Lorraine. Oh, yes. and Can't wait for, to see these kids wrestle and compete at the high school level. Saw a lot of friendly competition, so which is always nice to see. So, yeah, thank, thank you for coming out tonight, uh, no uh, Yolanda. Problem. Thanks, Joe, for having me. And uh, we'll see you next time with a high school match, I do believe. Yeah, somewhere along the line. Somewhere along the lines this season. So keep tuning in to Channel 20 so we can keep you updated on all the wrestling going on in Lorraine. And until then, I'm Mueller Ralston. And I'm Joe Bach. We'll see you next time. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV 20 WLCS. To purchase a high-quality copy of the program you just viewed, please call Lorraine City Schools Television at 282-8400.